Hey, and welcome to a uh, classic boat extra. Yeah, you can see we're uh, we're starting to go downhill from that uh, 40 degree temperature from this afternoon. Yeah, well, it's 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 uh, it's early December, so that's gonna happen. What are you gonna do? Uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Yeah, well, I'll show you in a minute here. Here's the Johnson from earlier on today. I gotta put her to sleep. She's hanging out here, still cooling off. Uh, she's more than cooled off at this point, but eh, I'll put her to sleep in a little bit. Yeah, come on, come on, go inside with me here. Windows are all fogged up. Take you into the secret hideout, classic boat kitchen. And uh, Squeaky the cat, she's sleeping. She's getting old. She's pushing 20. Uh, she's got every right to be sleepy, I guess. So why? Why am I here? What am I showing you? Well, there's the stove. There's the Royal Rose. Funny story about this stove. Back when I was married a million years ago, uh, me and my wife, uh, we uh, rented an apartment and, uh, in Garfield, New Jersey, of all places. And had a Royal Royal Rose stove. Royal Rose stove was sitting there and we were working it and we were using it to cook on and it was great. And, you know, things happen, you know how they do. And uh, we parted company and you know, like 20 years later, I'm uh, driving up and down the street in Saddlebrook, New Jersey and out on the road is, is a Royal Rose stove. Little apartment style Royal Rose stove. It's you know it's skinnier than the average stove. It's made for space saving. So I pick it up and I figure it'd be great for the secret hideout. And I'll clean it up and fix it up and bring it up here and it'll fit the rest of the uh, decor, as it were. You see, we have it's a very vintage in here. Excuse the mess. Very vintage. So anyway, uh, I'm cleaning it up, and this back burner here has a broken screw on it. And the burner, the burner wouldn't screw down right. And I'll be damned. Back when I was cleaning the stove on the Royal Rose back in my apartment back 20 years ago, the same screw was broken. So this only leads me to believe that this is the same damn stove that I had back when I was married. And it followed me all the way up here to Greenwood Lake. Can you believe that crap? Huh? I'm having a hard time believing it too, but that's the story I tell and uh, it just seems to fit. It's the same damn, well, uh, since Fix the screw and it's fine. I hardly ever use those back burners anyway. But anyway, what am I here for? What am I here for? You know, I'm, I'm getting the idea that uh, this Classic Boat Rescue channel is more about, just about as much about classic boats as it is, as it is about the lifestyle up here and the community up here and, you know, what it offers for people and, and why it's so great. You know, you got people, you got people waking up at 5.30 in the morning, 5 in the morning, taking a shower and getting dressed, dead of winter and dragging their ass down, and they're dragging their asses down to the belly of the beast down in maybe Bergen County or New York City or Hudson County or Rockland County to make a buck. And then they drag their asses up here in the middle of winter at the end of the day just so they can get back up here. So that, what that tells me is there's something pretty special about here. So, uh, you know, I think this uh, Classic Boat Rescue Channel is more about, just about more about lifestyle as much as it is about boats. But all right, we've been focusing on this stove and this pot here for a little while. Let me show you why. I got this ratty here up in mitt. Let's see if it's going to burn me or not. It might burn me. Let me get the other one. Yeah, that's a crappy one. Use that on the barbecue way too many times. There it is. 
There's Squeaky the cat still sound asleep through the whole damn video. Look, I did run up on her. Hey, Squeak. Hey, Squeak, what are you doing there? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, go back to sleep. <laughs> Sorry to bug you. All right. So anyway, what's what's the deal with this, this this Dutch oven here? Look, look, look! I'm gonna show you. Oh boy! Look at this! Look at this! You know what this here is? This is Greenwood Lake. The lake is frozen, and I'm freezing soup. And I, and I. I challenge any of the restaurants on the lake here or nearby to copy my recipe and make it. I bet you everybody would love this stuff. It ain't hard to make. And uh, in an upcoming re episode, I'm going to show you how I make it. I might make it out on the fire pit out, out back. You don't need to make it on a fire pit like I am hey, making it on the stove tonight. But the soup is really good. And uh, I came upon the recipe by accident through trial and error. And I bet you, I bet you people will like it. So it's the uh, Greenwood Lake. The lake is frozen and I'm damn cold soup. It's got spinach in it. That's green. It's got sausage in it and bacon in it. And potatoes and chicken stock. <laughs> You can't go wrong, I think. Uh, so, if you want to see how I make it, let me know. Give me some thumbs up here, and uh, coming up episodes, I'll make it. So anyway, this is Mike from Classic Boat Rescue at the kitchens. The kitchens of the secret hideout clubhouse. Saying, uh, have a great time on the water, and a great time in the kitchen. Even if it's frozen water, you know. And uh, we'll see you soon. Alright, have a good night. Bye bye. Hey, Squeak. You want to say goodbye? Yeah, you don't care. You want to go back to sleep. I'll see you later. Bye bye.